All right, everyone, welcome back. So today's video is a little different in the sense of I have a topic to discuss today. So as we're walking around my house, I had a topic that I wanted to discuss today, which was, um, as the title says, Minecraft is kind of like painting. And so I get a lot of questions about my builds and my building style and how I'm able to do this. And I had a good discussion with my friends the other day, and I was talking about what motivates me to continue playing Minecraft after all these years, especially when um, you have the same single player world for a very long time, right? It can get a little uh, boring to play the same thing over and over again, but I'll tell you why I never really run out of ideas when I'm playing this game and why I continue to find inspiration from it is because I find Minecraft is kind of like an art form. So while I talk about this, I'm going to head over to the city because I realized that I've never actually showed you guys this before. I, I see Minecraft as almost a way of painting. So it's kind of like drawing in the sense of even though you have these 3D structures and these 3D blocks, you kind of have to think of it in a way, at least this is the way I play the game, of like I'm drawing or painting a story for someone to be able to walk through so this is a great example of what would be considered a fresh canvas right so this is like something that i just started where only the idea is laid out and so this would be like a sketch of mine if i was making a drawing or a painting this would be where just the pencil lines have been drawn in and no actual no actual like color has been added to the canvas yet and um that's why i seem to never really run out of inspiration in this game is because each new project that i start um, obviously I'm very heavily focused on building, right? So, uh, I'm not too worried about the actual, like, achievements of the game and, you know, the direction it wants you to take when it comes to dungeons and fighting the ender dragon and all that stuff. I'm more interested in the actual building part of the game. I really enjoy the creative freedom you have when it comes to Minecraft in the sense of you can just build whatever you want. You just get the block palette that you like and you start creating whatever you want out of that. And so as we head into the laboratory here, you can see we've gone through a whole variety of different styles so far in just the beginning of this video where I had that whole fantasy um, medieval style kind of into now a modern city and here we are going into a future build with this futuristic looking laboratory right here that's why I feel like Minecraft is like painting right it, it, it is up to you to decide whatever you want to build and this was the discussion I was having with my friends is um, he was telling me that he doesn't like to play this game because he finds it very boring that there's just not that much to do and the stuff that there is to do, um, he just finds that it's not fun. The the tasks that they give you or, you know, the stories they want you to follow are simply just not fun to him, which is totally fine. Minecraft isn't for everyone. For someone like myself, um, it's what I was explaining was that I don't see this game to me as... I'm playing a video game. It's obviously I am playing a video game, but I don't see it that way. I see it more as I'm kind of drawing when I play this game. So instead of, you know, uh, getting a sketch pad and uh, making my little drawing on the sketch pad, I am drawing my picture or what my mind is visualizing in 3D with this type of stuff. So it's uh, a very unique thing to me because Minecraft is one of those very few games where you can have a creative outlet and you can build these magnificent structures and create the art that you're picturing, but you can also walk through it, which is what I love about Minecraft and why I continue to have motivation to play this game is because there's so many possibilities, so many different um architecture types and uh you know paintings scenes that i could create that i can actually walk through and share with other people so um once i finish this castle right i can share this with you guys and you guys can instead of just looking at my painting you can actually walk through my painting and that's what i love about minecraft and why it keeps me going and i keep making these builds and whatnot is because as we see here hopefully we don't get uh blindsided by any mobs but as you see here as we walk through my castle right 
you can experience this castle as I intended. You can walk through this whole thing. And when it's finished, it's like this entire art piece that has been completed that you can walk through. And I really love that about this game. So that, that's a very strong topic for me is why I feel like Minecraft is painting. So uh, that's going to take me to my next point of the video. If you're struggling to find inspiration in this game, um, a lot of people have been commenting on my videos of, uh, you know, Moonglow, please be careful. We don't want you to burn out uh, because of the pace that I've been making videos at. Um, which I have been doing these daily uploads, but that's just because I love playing the game. I really do love playing the game, and it's such a privilege to be able to have a YouTube channel to where I can play this every single day. And uh, that's why I don't really have an issue with doing daily uploads is because I just simply love what I'm doing. I enjoy logging on to Minecraft every day. And uh, it's part of my morning routine. I wake up, you know, eight o'clock in the morning. I log on to Minecraft. I build for a few hours and record it. Then I edit the video and I upload it. And so this world is very reminiscent of that. And there are so many different styles, so many different quote unquote paintings that I can make. And that's why I don't get burnt out is, uh, of course, like everything else, I do take breaks from time to time especially when you have other people watching it does change the dynamic of uh the world because now there's so many ideas that you guys give me or that other people give me that i can um you know create into something that's real and i really enjoy that about playing minecraft so that's why i don't really get burned out is because um my mind is always thinking about what the next painting is going to be not exactly what next goal i have to accomplish uh what i don't even know what task what achievement what dungeon i need to go to uh, what features are new and how to mess around with them i'm never really thinking about that i'm more thinking about what is my next painting what is the next drawing i'm going to make what is the next build I can make that my viewers can walk through and experience for themselves. I know at this point I don't have a world download, but I do plan on doing that in the future very soon here. I just want to finish that castle first before we go into that. So um, yeah, Minecraft is kind of like painting in the sense of you get to create whatever it is that you're visualizing, except this time the consumer can actually walk through what it is that you're creating. So that leads to the point of what I was originally trying to talk about in the first place is why do you get burnt out of Minecraft? Why do people lose motivation? And I think it's because they are playing the game in a way that is set for that to happen. And I feel it's not a diss to anybody. I don't mean it in a negative way, but a lot of people, they just like to complete things as we all do right as humans we find uh reward from completing a task so when we go through something and we finish it we feel some sort of satisfaction from that and so for people who uh, very heavily focus on that type of thing they like to play games where they you know are given a task they are given something they need to complete and they run around the world and go through the dungeons or whatever game it is to complete those tasks and eventually end up with the reward that the game gives you for completing those tasks. Now, since Minecraft is a sandbox game, right? It is not a game that really has any sort of direction very clearly. It has direction these days, but it was originally designed to not have any direction whatsoever, which is why we started that beta series. And it's why my gameplay is kind of, you know, the way it is with all these buildings. There really isn't any direction for you in this game. So, of course, you can log into the world and go and beat the Ender Dragon right away and all that sort of stuff. But the original design of the game was that you just spawn into the world and the whole entire world is just yours. You just do whatever the heck you want with it. And so that's kind of the way I play Minecraft is I didn't beat the Ender Dragon for the first two years <laughs> of having this world. I just went and I logged in and I just started building stuff because as the topic of this video says, Minecraft is just like painting for me. It's just a way to be a creative outlet where I can make visual things for me to not only enjoy, but for other people to enjoy and walk around in. And so if you're finding trouble 
um, playing Minecraft or you find that you get burnt out very easily, maybe it's time for a mindset shift in what you're actually playing the game for. So instead of using it as a game to complete tasks, because, it, you know, it is fair to be said, I think it's quite obvious, a lot of the tasks in Minecraft are very easy to complete. They're not particularly challenging. So if you're finding that Minecraft is very boring, maybe it's time to shift what you're playing the game for. So instead of just playing the game to become extremely wealthy and uh, beat all of the challenges and all of the dungeons and the Ender Dragon, instead try and play the game as a way of painting create some builds or some stories it can be a little challenging and a little scary at first but maybe try and start a mega project that allows you to come back and really try and complete something that takes a lot of thought and effort now my friend had a good point he had mentioned that minecraft feels like a chore to him so he finds it very difficult to play this game when it comes to building because he finds the building to be incredibly boring he says it's most Mostly a chore and it's not actually fun and so that is something that is a little bit more difficult to help people with I'm not really sure how to respond to um, a message like that but I can give my bits of advice here and there on how to build in Minecraft and that is I would say just don't be so restrictive on yourself as you see in a lot of my videos let me just make it daytime first before i go on this tangent so as you see in a lot of my videos when i'm building something i'm usually explaining it to you of what's going through my mind and that's because i'm usually thinking of all the possible outcomes that can happen when i'm building something in minecraft so I don't necessarily limit myself to it has to be done this way. This is what I pictured. It must be done this way. It was structured this way. I have to build it this way because that really isn't how things work. I've noticed in life is a lot of the times things just happen and you just have to go with the flow and change up what you're doing. So that is a big part of my building in Minecraft, which is I kind of work on the fly. I experiment with different types of blocks, different shapes, different building techniques. Sometimes I'll make an entire build and end up tearing it down because I don't like the way it turned out. You could see a lot of that with this castle. So um, a good explanation for this, uh, a good explanation for exactly what I'm talking about is this castle originally. So before I even made this channel, and there's probably a video on this channel of when it was in this stage, just making sure I'm not gonna get blown up by any creepers. Um, this giant middle tower was never here and this one wasn't here either so it was originally just this one and this one i sat on that for years with that shape but i realized that it just needed more the building needed something more and so instead of being set on i need to make these two towers work i was like you know what i'm just gonna add two more because i think that would make it much better and so i added this giant pillar right here and that giant pillar right here and now that i did that i am so glad i added those two towers because i think it makes it so much better looking i would say my biggest piece of advice for you is to just experiment this is a universal thing with any creative thing that i'm doing even when it came down to when i was playing sports when i was playing hockey i was very lucky to be a talented hockey player and got to play in um you know, some very good leagues. And one thing that always helped me get better was I was always experimenting. I was trying to find new ways to get better every single time I was practicing. The same goes for my music and the same goes for me and Minecraft. If you want to get better at something, you have to be willing to take risks and you have to push yourself very cliche, but you have to push yourself outside of your comfort zone. And sometimes you have to just do things that you wouldn't normally do. You have to make some sacrifices and experiment with things. And this castle is an exact epitome of that. It is like the definition of experimenting with things and changing things around and doing things I wouldn't normally do. Because when I started this castle, it was a daunting project, right? This thing is massive. Look at how many materials this building takes i had to get all of those materials i had to sit in this world and mine for hours and hours and hours and travel for hours and hours and hours to find the stony peaks and whatnot to even have the materials to be able to make this but i took the risk when i was building it of i'm gonna try this out i'm gonna try this shape out i'm gonna try this block palette out and eventually after all of that goes through 
you end up with something looking like this. Of course, it's not finished, right? And there's a lot more I have to do. But the whole point of that is if you're struggling to build in Minecraft, I just would like to say to you, take more risk. Try and be a little bit more experimentive, if that's a word, with whatever it is that you're doing. Don't be afraid to destroy something if you don't like the way it looks. Don't be afraid to shuffle things around if you think it could look better in a different environment. That is exactly what my whole island is like. It has been a huge process of placing things and destroying things. But most importantly, I just have fun with whatever it is that I'm doing. I enjoy the building process in Minecraft. I enjoy the creative shuffling of different builds and whatnot. So if you don't enjoy that type of thing, then maybe Minecraft just isn't the game for you. And that is totally fine because there are a lot of people out there who are very intelligent people, very smart people, but they're just not creative in the sense of, you know, they, they have a very difficult time when it comes to doing creative things they're much better at stuff when they are given a task and um, they're told what it is that they need to do and they absolutely excel when it comes to doing that type of thing whereas other people um, definitely like myself I think I'm this way in life especially with kind of just everything that I do I don't know why I'm this way I think I get it from my mother but uh, my mother was an artist yeah my mother is an artist still currently and so I get a lot of her creative traits and I just think that I when it comes to anything in life I just excel when I am given creative freedom and I am allowed to do whatever it is that I want with something so if they you know say somebody has something that they need me to do right if they tell me okay you need to do this task this way this is how it was designed to be done those are the type of situations that i really struggle with right i i i can do it but i don't think i can do it the best that i can if they give me the task and they're like this is the rough idea of what we want we had this kind of baseline for it and uh, we think that this could be the best way to go about doing this but if you think there's a better way or if you have something that comes to your mind go and run with that. If they tell me that, that is when I succeed. If I have the creative freedom to do whatever it is that my mind comes up with, then I find that I complete the task so much better than if I were to say, have a set of instructions and it needs to be done this way. It's why I was never very good at math in school is because math is very linear, right? It, it is 100% this is how it's done, whereas, you know, in making music or creating art or, uh, you know, again, a great example, building in Minecraft, there are so many different ways to do the same thing that I find I have a really easy time playing this game because my mind is just free when I'm playing this game. I don't have to think about what it is that I'm doing all that much because I'm just enjoying shuffling things around. I'm having fun creating and trying different methods and so that's why minecraft has really felt like painting to me but minecraft is also a way to exercise my brain and i think that's the biggest part of this video and why i wanted to um really make this was because minecraft is like an exercise for me that allows my brain to funnel in different creative directions and it really helps especially when i'm working on other things during the day right like if i need to make music i usually start off with playing minecraft because it gets my head in that creative space it allows me to enter that creative flow state if you will <laughs> and then i just transition straight into making music because my mind is already thinking in that creative way so yeah i don't know uh what you guys got out of that i know this isn't my typical video of building and whatnot but i did want to discuss um you know what it's like to play Minecraft every single day and why I don't get burnt out in playing this game and it's because I simply just love playing the game. I love the experience of making art in this game and all the different possibilities you have when it comes to creating. So uh, that was mostly what I wanted to discuss in today's video of why I feel like Minecraft is painting. Definitely a lot of the people who feel like they have uh, become good builders in Minecraft, I would absolutely say they are artists as well because this is a very 
um, visually dependent game when it comes to stuff like that. And usually those people who can build very well in Minecraft, even though they may not realize it, are usually very good artists as well. So I would like to go over the comment of the day before we end it off. All right, so I thought this was a really nice comment. This comes from the Rad Rooster, and they say, I really believe that if you are enjoying yourself with content creation and what you are doing, that you have reached the end goal of YouTube. Well, uh, yeah, th first of all, thank you so much for the comment. I appreciate you uh, supporting the videos. And um, this comment means a lot to me because of the fact that I really do just love what it is that I'm doing. I would not consider myself uh, the typical Minecraft player. I, you know, had a life outside of Minecraft and just like all of you guys, I went to school, I went to college, um, and college didn't really work out for me and I'm not going to really uh, elaborate on that too much, but uh, I was just never a person that really um, enjoyed being in school. I love to learn, but as I said, I'm a creative mind, right? My mind just 100% works on creative things i just don't really succeed when it comes to being given a task and i have to follow it that way we'll sit in the office here as we uh finish off this comment so yeah i think um for me you know i was just never really a college driven student i didn't succeed when it came to school because i was so worried about my creative stuff that i never really wanted to learn uh the stuff that they were teaching in school so uh, by all means do not take my advice when it comes to that. I would absolutely say if you excel in school, 100% go to college and, you know, whatever it is that you're interested in, pursue that because learning is such a valuable tool. It's something that I use for everything in my life. I very, very much value the skill of learning and I do it in everything that I'm doing, right? I, I try to study as much as possible in everything that I'm doing. And I try to learn new things and experiment with new things all the time. It's just that school wasn't really for me with the way that it was structured. So um, a lot of people are like that, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But I'm should saying you should at least give it a try, right? I did not not go to college after high school. I still went to school. But with that being said, I really do love what I'm doing, and I think that's why... Um, a lot of people can sense that in my videos is because I really am genuine when it's when I'm talking because I just love playing Minecraft, right? I had a life outside of playing Minecraft. You know, I played sports all growing up. Like I said, I was very um, blessed and talented when it came to hockey. I was very, uh, I'm very thankful that I was gifted to be um, good at ice hockey and uh amongst many other things like i love uh cars and uh i love uh racing i've been to many many race tracks over the course of the past few years and have really fallen in love with uh motorsports and so i do have lots of hobbies and lots of fun things that i enjoy outside of minecraft so minecraft isn't the only thing that i am um you know enjoying and so I find that maybe that helps with my videos because there's a fine balance of everything. And so my brain is getting to the stage where it's almost fully developed, right? Uh, it takes most people up until the age of about 25. And so um, I feel a lot more rational about the decisions I make these days. And so uh, it's always nice to um, know that since I was a teenager, I'm a lot more logical about the decisions I make. So I have fully understood at this point in my life that you need to have a balance when it comes to whatever it is that you're doing, even if it's work that you love. For example, I loved playing ice hockey. Um, you never had to tell me I needed to go to the rink. I always just wanted to go to the rink because I loved it so much. Whereas uh, for Minecraft, the same kind of thing, right? I just love playing the game so much that you you never have to tell me I need to play Minecraft this morning. I have to work this morning. I always just log on because I love playing the game. And that's just something about me that I can't really explain because I'm not really much of a gamer outside of that. I've only played the same two games for the past like 12 years and that's been minecraft and rocket league so after hockey practice or after uh when i was in school 
I would just come home and I would play Minecraft and Rocket League. And that was my way to decompress from the busyness of life. Uh, another hobby I have obviously is creating music. And I obviously just mentioned my love for cars and motorsports. And so there's a fine balance of everything, right? I have creative outlets that aren't Minecraft. Uh, I think the biggest thing to take away from that is I have a whole bunch of different activities, right? That are like, um, some of them are inside in front of the computer and others are outside in person. So I'm not cooped up in my room all day. And I find that a lot of people, even though they could have different hobbies, one thing to keep in mind is it's important to get outside, right? It's important to experience things outside of just being in your room all day. And so that's why I have a lot of the different hobbies that I do is because stuff like cars and motorsports allow me to get outside of the house and enjoy things in real life. And so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know that was a lot, but um, many of you do say that you do listen to my videos in the background. So I know this wasn't my typical, uh, you know, building something in Minecraft day, but um, I hope you guys did enjoy that because of the fact that some of you do listen to this in the background. So if you wanted something to listen to while you were working, um, this was probably the video for you. So uh, yeah, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you to the Rad Rooster for submitting the comment of the day. And I will catch you guys in the next one. That's about it.